Hey, what's good with y'all? It's Jericho, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I just want to talk about a little something that's just been going on with me. Um, so lately, I think about God all the time, right? But at the same time, I feel like I'm so far away from Him that He's like pushing Himself away from me, and I don't know why I feel that way, but he does it sometimes. He's done it before. I don't expect him to not do it again. He's done it before. He's pushed me away, and I keep crying out to him. I keep crying out. I keep saying, God, where are you? I keep asking where he is. Why aren't you showing up anymore? He used to be very, very close to me. Now, I feel like you're not there anymore. So it bothers me. It bothers me. But even through those moments, you still have to push through. Even when you are numb and you cannot feel the Lord, you have to push through the numbness. Push through the numbness. I watched a video on TikTok. And they had the same exact thing going on in their life. They said, she said that she couldn't feel God. She couldn't feel her presence for a couple of, she couldn't feel God's presence for a couple of days. And in those couple of days, she was numb. But what, she, what did she do after a couple of days? After a couple of days, she turned on some worship music and she felt God's presence after that amount of time. So he's still there. The Lord is still there. Even when you don't feel him, he's still there. He knows how hard you're working. He knows how hard you're crying out to him. He knows. You just got to push through. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing through. Push through the numbness. Even though you can't feel a single thing. Even though you felt God's presence and now you lost it. You're not lost. You're not lost. You're still founded by the God. You're still founded by Lord Jesus, by the Lord Heavenly Father. Now, I want to come to you guys today and I want to pray for you guys. So, I'm going to set you guys right here. Set you guys up right here. I'm going to pray. In the name of the Father. Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you continue to give me and my family every single day. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you highly and greatly. Lord, thank you for the day today. Thank you for allowing me to experience another day. Thank you for allowing the person across the screen to experience another day. We appreciate you so much. We appreciate you highly and greatly. We appreciate you so much. Lord, we hope that even through the numbness, we continue to follow you. We continue to seek your kingdom of God. Seek kingdom of God and his righteousness. And, and his plans will be added onto you. We hope that the plans that you have for us will be added onto us forever and ever. As long as we continue to live. As long as we continue to live on this earth. In our physical state. In our physical form. Until we pass away. We hope to always follow you and always seek your kingdom, go after you, and hopefully, you know, get our life, life, and have life more abundantly, abundantly, so that, so we can just keep going and keep going and keep praying to you, because we love you, Lord. We love you with all our heart. Give us the strength to keep fighting, to keep fighting. Give us the courage to keep going. Give us a confidence to rebuke the devil, to rebuke the demons, rebuke 
the evil spirits. Give us the energy to keep going. Don't make us lazy. Allow us to, allow us to work, but also allow us to be still at the same time. Be still. Allow us to be still, because we are grinding so much in your mighty name, Lord. In your grind, in your grind, in in our grind, we are working our very hardest to get to you, and and we are working and working and working. We will always work for the rest of our life to get to you. Your the desire to have you number one on all of our lists should be the only desire we have. Or, or, or. You know, be number one on our list. Not the only desire, but be number one on our list, you know? And we just gotta keep going. We just gotta keep going, man. We well, thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father. Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. That was a great prayer. Hopefully you received that prayer. Hopefully you took that prayer. And it makes you, and it gives you encouragement to keep going. To keep praying to God. To keep chasing after Him. Because His plans will be added onto you. His plans will be added onto you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. He will show you the path that is meant for you. He will show you and you have to see it. You have to see it with your own eyes. Like I keep saying, you got to keep seeing it. Man, I'm saying, bro, this life is too crazy. This life is too crazy and we all got to show it. We all got to show the Lord that we care about him. Because it hurts us. It's, the Lord is a jealous God. He's a jealous God. So he gets jealous when you put your attention or your awareness to something else other than him. He gets jealous because he has feelings too. The Lord has feelings too. Why? He even brought, he even sent his own son, Jesus Christ, to come to, to come to the world, to come to earth and die for our sins. He had feelings too. He was a human. Even though he was a God, he was still a human. A godly human. He was a godly human. And he was sent down from above, from heaven, to die for our sins. So we know that he felt our pain. He was or he knew he knew us. He knew the names of these people. He knew that he knew the the trials and tribulations that they were facing. Facing leprosy, facing blindness. Facing sin. The Lord died for our sins. And we have to be so incredibly thankful for the Lord. So incredibly thankful. So incredibly thankful. Come on. Listen to my voice. We got this. We got this with all of our hearts. All of our hearts, as long as we know it. As long as we know it. As long as we have that confidence, that boost, that encouragement, that motivation. We can survive through this. We can survive through this. Come on. We got this. We got this. But anyway. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, ate some pork. I didn't have no mac and cheese. You know, mac and cheese wasn't there. No, no cornbread. <laughs> no cornbread. No greens. It wasn't like a full Thanksgiving dinner. But, hey, we still had food. 
you know, KFC, we had KFC. KFC, we had some Filipino food, because I'm Filipino. Yeah. But yeah, that was my Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. I stayed to my at my grandma's house till like 9, 9.50, which is the latest that we've ever stayed there. We usually go up until like 9, because everybody has uh, work the next day or something like that, you know? But, hey... We all got to spend a lot of time with each other because you are supposed to spend a lot of time with the ones that you care about and love the most. And I'm incredibly thankful and grateful for the Lord to allow me to experience a life with them in my life. But anyway, I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all. I'm going to catch y'all. Peace.